Good morning, I made some cheesy eggs with ketchup, and if you don't put ketchup on your cheesy eggs, you're missing out. I'm also catching up on my New York City Real Housewives reunion show, and then I have Big Smo on this one. Like, back, I just, I need to get all the TV in right now. I gotta watch like 20 shows. <laughs> oh, what day is today? What day is it? Sunday, happy Sunday. Hey, guess what? We're gonna go buy Jen some shoes. Oh, look at that. I just told Jen how terrible it would be if I got here and the front row was open, and it was. I parked like way back there. Yeah, look at them shoes. Those are nice. Yeah. Hey, Laura. Hey, Laura. <laughs> some new shoes now. The way that Jen tests out shoes is she prints her sizes. I can't hurt my foot. Oh, no. I think we've got a winner. No. What do you guys think? Yeah, not so much on looks, but they're uh, apparently really comfortable. Ooh, I haven't tried I them yet. I think they look cool. That's why I picked them. I know, but the other ones look cooler. What the heck? So, fun story, Jen. There was a girl sitting right there trying on shoes mm -hmm. and she was singing all the words to bye bye bye. So here's our dilemma. These are more comfortable and these look better. These are a little bit too wide. I can move my foot around a lot in there. Oh yeah, get the new balance then. Okay. We're done. All right, we okay. picked them. How many dots are in a pair of dice? Six, 12, 10. Not six. Not uh, 30 I think there you it's go. 30 42. 42. Ah. I just ran into Publix and I think I embarrassed the stock boy because I went to the deli and I got some turkey and you know how they give you like a free sample? I ate it and then the stock boy was looking at me and he kept looking at me and looking at me and he goes, hey, you uh, you got something in your mustache. And I was like, oh yeah, it's just turkey, sorry. And he's like, that's weird. <laughs> so today is just gonna be like a relaxing at home type of day because tomorrow we're gonna be at Disney and we gotta relax for that. We have to like rest up to go to Disney. We're gonna spend most of the day there. And, uh, I don't know. It's been a long work week. Today's my Sunday. What is today? Today is Sunday. Today's my Friday, right? I'm so confused. Side note, what the heck? Leaves? Man. Bull looks pretty nice though, doesn't it? By the way, best show on TV right now? Drunk History. It's amazing. And we don't have to do so you us like 1955. So this is the air conditioner that was upstairs in our bedroom. It needs to be cleaned really bad. So, figure I might take it apart and show you guys different parts of the air conditioner. Definitely a good thing to know how to, well, like how something works. So that if something does go wrong with it, then you might be able to have a better understanding of how to fix it. So all that I did so far was just take these wings off and we're gonna try to take this cover off. Oh, and this one has a, a filter in it that you should take out and clean if it's dirty. This one's still clean, so it's pretty good. And then uh, I think it's just these screws, which there used to be two, but I guess there's only one now, to get this cover off. So let's take a look underneath there. We got it off. Yes, this is very dirty. So it was freezing over because there wasn't enough airflow or over top of these coils here. We got to clean those out, but I want to try to get the entire thing apart too. This was in the house when we bought the house. You guys should clean your air conditioners. Welcome to Florida where you get super sweaty in like five seconds. I'm having trouble with one screw. It's like stripped on the inside. Something just jumped in the pool though. Let's go look. No, no, there's a toad party in the pool. Why'd you guys jump in the pool? Like idiots. Don't do that. All right, I got it undone. I'm gonna try to take this cover off with one hand so you guys can see what's inside of there. Look, there it is. Yay, it's crazy looking and dirty. You ready? Here's the, all of the parts of the air conditioner. This is the compressor that compresses the Freon down, because this all is charged with Freon. Compresses the Freon down and pumps it through this coil right here, which is the evaporator coil. And when it pumps it through, let's see if I can trace it with my eyeballs here, it's in here somewhere, is where it expands real quickly. The compressor compresses the Freon, which expands inside of these coils, and that makes it cool. Like, have you ever been sprayed with, with mist of water and that's cooler. That's because it's the expansion and evaporation and all that other fun stuff. After it goes through that, it condenses back down in the condenser coiled. So it's a gas here and then it condenses back down to a liquid over here and then it starts back over again in the uh, compressor again. So it's pretty simple. And then there's a motor right here that runs both fans. This one cools down the condenser side because the condenser side's hot. And this side blows the cold air out into where you are here through the evaporator part that's Cool. All this jazz is just the controls for what's going on. This is a starter or a capacitor that holds the charge so that it can turn on both the compressor and the motor at the same time. And this is a temperature sensor so that we know what the temperature is. And because this one's so dirty, I'm gonna have to take drastic measures and just kind of hose it off. But I did spray it down with some, some detergent type stuff like a scrub free and some lime away, I think. It's looking a great deal cleaner 
not quite all the way cleaner. Sorry, it's like vibrating like that. That's the difference in uh, frame rate versus the frequency of flashing of the LED light that I have. There it is, all cleaned up. Just gotta let it dry out for maybe a day or two. And then put it all back together and pop it in the window. I think it's uh, on its last legs though. Because these fins on the outside are starting to like deteriorate. That's not good. Holy macaroni, the thing is clean now. I really took it apart. I took like this piece of white right here, I took off. And like cleaned all in there and drilled a couple of new holes for drainage down there. It's doing good. Alright, that thing is all clean. It's outside drying now. So that maybe on Tuesday we can bring it inside and put it in that window. Uh, you can get electronics wet, like motors and stuff like that. You really shouldn't start them when they're wet. That's when you get into issues. The good news is all of that stuff is meant to be able to be used outside because half of it sticks outside into the rain and everything. So it can get wet. That little electronic panel that's on the inside where I showed you where the big capacitor is, that can't, that shouldn't get wet. I mean, I got it wet a little bit, but it'll dry out just fine. As long as I start it after it's all dried out, it'll be A-OK. -okay. Another thing to know if you're working with ACs or refrigerators, don't ever start them up right after you've moved them unless they've been sitting fairly stable for a long time because there's oil and stuff like that in the compressor and if you turn them on their side and then try to put them upright and start them up, the oil won't be right and then it'll run dry like without oil. Not good. Don't do that. So good times. We learned about ACs. I think that I deserve some chocolate and I really need to go to bed because we're going to get up and go to Disney tomorrow. Although we're not going too early because our first fast pass isn't until like 12 o'clock? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how we roll. It's gonna be so hot by then and there's gonna be a million people there. Uh, it was probably a bad plan, but we wanna sleep in. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.